there, it's Bart here. Um, I want to talk to you guys about two, uh, two things. Um, first one is um, choosing the right editing software for, for filmmaking. Um, it's a very uh, delicate thing and uh, I want to share with you uh, my opinion about this. And second, uh, it's uh, hype about time traveling, kind of teleporting, kind of thing. Uh, I want to discuss with uh, with you uh, um, that thing too. And unfortunately, I wish I could uh, go back in time because now we have. Uh, half past noon uh, almost and I wish I, I could uh, show you some b-roll of, uh, of some nice place at sunrise but if you are a filmmaker and you want to uh, edit your footage uh, you have to choose between uh, some tools that are available and the main uh, main tools that are uh, quite well rounded is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro and the second is Final Cut for Mac users of course and there is very strongly recommended uh, uh, DaVinci I don't know about DaVinci because I never used this uh, I heard some good stuff about this uh, I'm using Premiere Pro for commercial edit, edits and uh, Final Cut for my everyday YouTube videos, vlogs. This is the, the first, first thing. Second thing that I want to discuss is this time traveling effect. Uh, as I mentioned, I want to, uh, uh, I wish I could. Uh, go back in time. That's <sighs> right. Five thirty in the morning. Oh well, okay, so let's get to to where I st stop talking to you. Uh, everyone consider that if they're not uh, using um, Premiere Pro, uh, they're not to be considered as professional editor or filmmaker um, or whatever. My approach to this topic is uh, slightly different. I'm both Premiere Pro user and Final Cut Pro user. Um, I use um, Final Cut to essentially uh, quick project like YouTube videos and stuff like this. And Premiere Pro uh, to commercial shoots and commercial work with clients that need to collaborate within the project. There is this um, hype going on with this travel in time, teleport effect. Uh, I saw it for, for the first time uh, in Peter McKinnon vlog last week and um, I think to myself that uh, He's a premier pro user, yeah? It's a pretty good one. Uh, I'm premier user uh, for a long time, uh, but I think that this effect could be done in Final Cut as well. So this uh, whole material is from Final Cut, and you can choose to um, Oh, 
It's happening again. Oh. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! We made it! I'm a premier user since um 6.5, I think. Yeah, 6.5. Not CC, not Creative Suite. Just my thoughts about about this, but um hey, let's shut some B-roll. <laughs> effect uh, was used by Peter McKinnon as I mentioned before uh, in his vlog from Washington DC I believe and uh, he done this uh, on Premiere Pro I want to show you that it doesn't matter what editing software you use uh, you can achieve the same or similar effect in every software that you can uh, get hands on. Uh, main thing is the idea, or in this case, I, it's not my idea to to show you this effect, but inspired by Peter McKinnon. And the best software is that software that you good at. So that's it for me. Hit this like button if you like this video. Uh, hit subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next one. You can have it if you want it. It's gratis, it's for free. There ain't no strings attached, no, there ain't no catch. Take my love, take my love, take me.